Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and then check if that does not work. Try these in launch options. So you can go to Steam, make our active on the game, select properties in the launch option. Uh, first of all, you can try this uh, dash, dash high in the launch option. All these uh, entries are provided in the video description. Type in dash high launch the game you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash i dash window mode so try this one if that does not work you can even try dash dx9 launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 over here and dash dx11 and if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 if that does not work you can type in dash auto config this has also worked for many players so it might work for you after entering these make sure that you have to relaunch the game so you can try each one by one and then you have to relaunch the game again and again and then check if that does not work you can type in dash no wait so one of the entries should help you to launch the game type in this again relaunch the game and then check you can even try safe mode by using this in the launch option still not working you can remove this Follow the next step. Next step is to install Vulkan and try dash Vulkan in launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make uh, go to Steam, select the game, and then here you can see manage my DLC. Click on it. Sorry. Manage my DLC. And over here, uh, if this is unchecked, Dota 2 Vulkan support, if this is unchecked, put a check over here. Once you put a check over here, if it is not installed, it will install. The, the update will happen so let the update complete and once the update is complete you have to type in dash vulcan in the launch option so go to steam make a right click and then go to properties in launch option now you can type in dash vulcan and now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to windows 7 users you can install this update uh, you can go to this website the link is provided in the video description click on download and then you can download both the file and then once the download is complete, you have to run both the exe file and then restart your computer after this and then check. Next step is to install DirectX. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website, click on download and then you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Accept. Next. Unchecked install Bing bar. Next. And let the installation complete. Click on next. And once the installation is complete, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. Uh, so you can, in Google search, you can just type in install Visual C++ file, and then you can go to Microsoft website. And here you can see x86 and x64. You have to download both x86 and x64. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well, and then run this x64. Again, if you see the repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, you can restart your computer. Restart your computer after this, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card operating system and then click on search. And the latest graphic card driver will be at the top, not the studio, but the GeForce game ready driver, whichever is the latest, download it and then run the exe file. And then once you run the exe file, click on yes to allow, click on OK, and then agree and continue. Select custom option over here, click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. And after the clean installation is done, restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to laptop users uh, with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Type in graphics settings in Windows search box. Go to graphics settings. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is, is over here. So go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, now find the game in the list click on the game and over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here select your graphic card and then launch the game now update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart it 
and after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows security go to windows settings go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection over here and then scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control for access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browse the apps and then again go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open now launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right in the game manage browse local files and then open the uh, find the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says perform a uh, sorry run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 and then hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes from here hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working uninstall the game after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.